I don't want my kids to grow up in the environment I grew up in. So I moved out, you know, I sent my kids to the good schools away from the fucked up shit because I didn't have that opportunity. When I was a youth, I didn't have no choice. I had nowhere else to go. I had to stay there. But I know what I did to get here, and all the nights I spent in the studio rapping and writing, and it was all me. And you try to help some of your homies out. I hook niggas up. You know, if you know how to rap, I try to get you a deal. I work with you in the studio. But it's not a form of just going, okay, I got paper. Here go a thousand. Here go two thousand. Here go five. And that's what brothers expected. You have to learn who your true homies are and shit. You got the jealous homies that don't want to see you come up. You got the player haters. You got the crooked females who want to set you up. And then you got the niggas in general who just roll around just looking for niggas, period, to jack. I don't put my city down. I love Compton to the fullest. But with me being a father, a businessman, me staying in Compton would mean me having to deal with the same situations as I dealt with as a teenager. I moved out to the community where I could walk out my front door and wouldn't have to see gang writing and, and shit like that because I lived in that shit all my life. And I figure if you can, you might as well to better yourself and to better your future family around with a gun every day now because of the situations that I had to deal with when I used to gang bang and the brothers who won't let you live that shit down. Me being a rapper, I'm basically just giving you the real. I seen everything. So that's what makes me speak like I speak and that's what makes me bring the music like I do because I, I've been there, you know, I belong to gangs. I done went on drive-bys. It just all has to depend on the situation, you know. If somebody threatens you, you gon' kill them.